I am so excited because I've been wanting to do this for like the past few weeks. I just, if the living room is looking too cluttered, I'm gonna switch most of my plant pots out. I wanna go for like a more neutral aesthetic, um, but still keep like the warmer tones like um, that basket right there. So I think I'm gonna like do maybe two. So today we're gonna be decorating with plants and hopefully this inspires you, um, especially if you're a plant mom or not a plant parent yet that this inspires you and gives you some ideas on how to make that space your own and you know, get that vision out. So here we go. Making my own macrame plant hangers is a bit therapeutic for me. I can control how long or short I want my plant hangers to be. Plus it's hard to find like plant hangers that can sit wide pots inside of them versus like hanging out on the side. I can honestly say like I suck at giving tips on how to care for plants. I honestly just wing it and I could only share what works for me because literally I'm just winging the whole thing. But when it comes to like styling and decorating with plants, that's me. That's where my plant decor and styling vision comes to life. And here is my Rapunzel. It's a golden pothos. Her vines are just long and luscious. This was hanging out in my bedroom window but it has outgrown its space and needed to be repotted. This plant had like 0.279% of soil left in its original pot when we were repotting it. It was literally just like all roots. All right, so I have it up. The vines are still pretty long, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap some of it like on the macrame itself just to give it some height and a little more volume, make it look bigger, I guess. Um, but it's looking good. It's looking really good. So I'm not, I originally had my, um, my Monsteras. I had two Monsteras right here. So I'm not going to put anything there just because that's trailing really, really low. Like it's touching the floor type of low. So I'm going to pull some of the vines up a little bit onto these and see how that looks. But I'm really loving the white. That I'm going to leave. I, I like this. So I'm going to leave that. Um, this is going somewhere else. I have to find a different home for this. And there's still some dirt from the repotting, so I'm just going to clean it up, chop off some of the discolored leaves, and move forward from there. For this, I used two plant clips to pin the vines. And here's a look at what the final setup looked like after styling the plant. It added a little more height to the space, which is one thing I was going for with this plant decor setup. Okay, so the next few seconds might look a little confusing, but I promise it'll all make sense eventually. <laughs> but just in case it doesn't, I brought my Adansonii's, which are these plants right here, to the dining room. While in the dining room, I took a plant pot that I thought would look amazing next to the living room bench. And now my snake plant is just hanging out in my dining room corner with no support. And long story short, my alocasia is now homeless because I'm about to replace it with my bird of paradise. Hopefully that all made sense. Alright, so this is the plant that I wanted that white pot with the wooden stand, but it looks it's like weed infested, so everything's growing in it right now. Um, and I don't repot my own plants. This is gonna go on the bench. I just need this repotted as well. I have no one to do it. And these are bamboo sticks that are holding it up. I tried a moss pole on this. I, I don't like the look of moss pole, if I'm being completely honest. It just it's just standing out too much and I don't take care of it. Like I know you're supposed to mist it and keep it moist and I don't do that. Um, so I don't want to put one on here. So I'm going to go get my other bamboo sticks and I'm going to give life, <laughs> give life to this plant. So this one is eventually going to get repotted to fit the container more comfortably. 
I just didn't have anyone to do it for me, so sigh. And my plants are also thirsty, okay guys? So if they're looking a little droopy, that's, I just haven't gotten to the watering this week yet. I promise, I'm a good plant mom. I just miss the cues sometimes, but they're well taken care of for the most part. <laughs> I guess my question is, do snake plants really need drainage holes? Because it's so small. Should I risk it? I'm gonna risk it. Here's my other Monstera Deliciosa. I showed you guys this on my plant tour where it had like one and a half leaf and look at it now. It's like flourishing. It's doing so amazing. And I'm gonna put my ear plants as well. I know the guitars look cramped, but that's because they are, because my toddler took it upon himself to reorganize all the guitars, so just ignore that because I'm not going to fix it. <laughs> okay, so I am, the snake plant needs repotting too, like it is like packed, it's packed in there. Okay, so I thought I wanted to repot the snake plant in the white container, but I think... I, I do want the space to still feel warm, so I think I'm gonna use this and then maybe put the white one and switch it out with this. Ugh, I really like this though, like I don't want to size it up. <laughs> I really like how this looks. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna leave it in for another week. If you guys have any suggestions on how I could keep it in this pot, feel free to share it. But I'm gonna put the snake plant in here. This was just to elevate it. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna do that. All right, so this is how the space is looking. This was behind here initially just because you know snake plant snake plant but i just put it up here um to move it from behind the corner and this looks so good i really like the outline like the shape of this basket <laughs> the bin we repotted it in was just like 0.2 inches bigger so that did absolutely nothing but i don't care at this point i'm just gonna leave it um but it does look good it looks better than the gray container that it was in so there's that and next time you see my plants they'll look a little more clean a little more organized but i'm going to show you guys the finished look right now
If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed my plant styling videos. If you're interested in more, please let me know because I can definitely deliver that. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!